Good morning. I thought I would jump in and join everybody on the mid-year check-in. So, we're going to call this planner check-in number 12. Okay, so a mid-year check-in and where it has brought us. I can join that for sure. So, hmm, how did my year start off? Right here is where it started. So this is a Sweet Freckled Designs Weekly Diary. Um, this is a completely undated weeks style planner. It's a little bit taller than a regular Hobonichi Weeks and it's a little bit wider. Um, like I said, this is from Sweet Freckle Designs. Um, it has Tomoe River paper in it, which I love. And this one is the expanded version. Um, I thought that I would really enjoy having one with a ton of extra pages in the back, but as you can see, I didn't use many of them at all. Um, when I set it up, I completely dated the whole thing because my plan was to never jump out of this planner. And for me, personally, I have discovered that planner piece is using whatever I want whenever I want to. So there were a couple of months that I didn't use it. Um, I have some blank pages in this, which I don't mind the blank pages, but let's, I'll show you. I love, love this planner. I love being able to um, do whatever kind of layout I want in it. I really enjoy adding deco um, and as I flip through it, you'll be able to see lots of the different layouts that I used. Really, my favorite obviously was using pet tape, um, but I really do enjoy this planner. I had jumped out of it, I feel like Okay, so we went on, yes, we went on a cruise this week. So actually we left February 23rd, yep. Um, and we were gone this week, so I didn't use it. So then you can see I jumped back in for a little while. But you know, you can see, right, how full these pages are here. And then you can see I was kind of falling off using it. So it looks like March, I stopped loving it. And then April, I was done. So for all of May, I didn't use it at all. And then the week of June 10th, I jumped back in. Um, I started using it for, to track my social media which I have been enjoying. So I've used it for three weeks. Um, and I'll show you what I'll be doing going forward. But what I did in some of the back pages was I did like a month review. Um, I did 
some intentions for the year, um, a bucket list of things I wanted to do in 2024, a savings challenge. I more than saved $500 in February. That was pretty easy for me. Um, a review for February, my granddaughter and I, March, and then my favorite pens. I did a, started doing a no spend. So this was like, if I bought planner things, I was gonna start tracking like senseless money spending kind of thing. Well, as you can see, I didn't do that. <laughs> Um, 24 small shops I wanted to buy from in 2024. Didn't track any of that. Um, and then just some writing that I did here, but I have all of these blank pages. So, like I said, fell off the wagon with this. Um, what did I use in between? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it was this that I started with. It could be, it could be. Actually it is because, it is because I have all of my April inserts in a print pression um, personal rings. So like I, I take them out of here once I'm done and I store them in a print pression so that um, I don't like to throw away my inserts. So I like to be able to refer back to them. So it is it is this planner that I jumped into. Actually, it was um, a VDS Thuya. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's T-H-U-Y-A is the color um, that my friend Stacy um, gifted to me. But this has been my love since April, and I am planning to put her away for a little while just because I'm feeling like I want to try um, doing a lot of bujo bullet journaling kind of thing just to kind of get my craft on. But this has been my love since April. This right here was made for me by Watch Becca Plan. My printer is acting up and putting lines through everything. I'm not sure how to get rid of that, but she made this for me. That's me and my granddaughter. And it was, she made this, this, no, she made this and this for me for a giveaway that I did. I'm not sure who this one's from, but I'll just flip through it so you can see how I've been using it. This is all a list from a YouTube video by Crystal Plans. This is all a list of lovely planner people that do freebie inserts. Um, this insert is by Written Treasuries and I love this because I've started lots of different lists of things that I want to accomplish. Another freebie. This was made to me, made for me um, by another planner peep, um, paper, pens, and coffee. And I love that when she sent me some happy mail, she punched this so I could put it into my personal rings. Summer bucket list from Carolyn Taylor. But I'll just silently flip through this now so you can just take a peek at what I've been using.
So that's how I have been using this. Um, a lot of inserts that I've already used, I've taken out and put, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I've taken out and put into my personal rings, um, my print press and personal rings. So that's why you don't see a lot of completed inserts because once I complete an insert, I take it out and I put it, um, I put it away. So, I've also been using this DM Leather Studios planner. Um, I don't have any projects inserts. I do have some party inserts that I've been doing. Okay, I can show this. My address is covered. Um, so, these are by Annie Plans Printables. And the way I've been using these is we have four parties this summer that we're hosting. Um, one of them has gone by on Sunday, June 9th, we did our friend Mo's retirement party. And so I wrote down everything that I needed to do in here. Um, let me see. This is our granddaughter's um, fourth birthday party and my daughter-in-law has started writing down the food she wants to do and um, things she has to buy or make sure she gets set up. I will print um, the birthday party invitation and put that on here. Um, let me see. So this, um, one of my daycare moms is gonna host her son's third birthday, a uh, second birthday party here. Um, it's obviously going to be a Blue's Clues party. Um, what else do I have in here? But I've shown you all this before. Um, this is, um, inserts for prepping for Thanksgiving. And then these are inserts prepping for Christmas. So I don't touch this planner every day. Um, this is a planner that does sit on my desk. So I don't touch it every day, but it is a very useful planner for me. I like that no matter what planner I jump in and out of, I will always have this one set up just for parties. So this is my, sorry, there's some animal sounds outside. I was just listening. Um, our property we live on two acres in a neighborhood, but our property abuts probably easily 100 acres of woods. Um, and sometimes we have, well, not sometimes, we always have a lot of animals um, in the woods. And so I was just, I heard an animal sound and wasn't sure what it was. Anyway, this is my Tokyo TN. I use this as a junk journal. Excuse me, my allergies are really acting up this morning. Um, this insert right here is just, I don't know, it's some insert that's from, what is that store? Hobby Lobby. And I just covered it uh, with stickers front and back. And then this is how I've used this. I literally just, if I get mail, um, I put the stamps um, in here and then I'll do like a little bit of the ephemera that I get within my mail. Um, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put, this, <laughs> this is from one of my daycare moms. Um, I have, so this particular daycare mom, I have her little guy, Max, who's they're going to be doing Max's birthday party here at our house, his second birthday. Um, but I had his mom in my daycare when she was his age. So it's full, totally full circle. It's, it's been fun having um, her little guy here. 
Um, but what I'll do is, like this is from Sticky Club. This is my nail from Sticky Club. And what I did is I just pulled off a couple pieces from the envelope, this bookmark that I probably wouldn't use and I just stuck this in here. This is um, some Happy Mail that I got from Happy Scrappy. So she always puts your order number on the package and then she always, Sam always includes, <coughs> Sam always includes a handwritten note in all of her packages, so. And then this was some Aura Estelle mail, some mail that I got from my friend Stacy. But just lots of different bits and pieces of mail. This is a class um, at the range my son and I like to go to, but it's um, some women, on women only courses that I thought about signing up for. But just lots of different little bits and pieces. And I'm really enjoying this. I do, I typically do one of these each month, but what I've done, this is May and June for this. And then I'll definitely be able to put this one away because I've only got these few pages left, but I'll definitely be able to put the, this away at the end of June. And then this is just morning pages here. So I am enjoying this. This is one book I have not jumped out of. Um, this is Luna's Memory Planner. When did I start this for my Lou? March 11th, I started this. So this is an Aura Estelle Annie Plans Complete Weekly Vertical. It's a B6, it is uh, undated, and I bought two more of these to set aside because I really love doing her memory planning in here. Um, what I do to date it is I use these from Tyrene Designs. She has a shop on Etsy. And then I have in here, let's see, lots of happy scrappy stickers, more happy scrappy stickers. And then these ones are ones that I printed from Etsy. Oh. And then these are from C. Annie Draw. If I don't put everything away, right when I'm done with it, then my desk becomes this huge mess. I don't want that. Okay, so what I was originally using this for in the beginning of the year was tracking um, my social media and I just decided that I did not like it. Um, let me show you. I clipped it off. Where's that clip? Here it is. I clipped it off. So this is what I was doing. And I just, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I don't like the way it looks. It looks messy to me. Um, so I stopped using it probably, yeah, January. So, clip all of that back off again. So I stopped using it in January. And then in March, I started using it for Luna's memory keeping. And in the beginning, I was adding photos here. Um, and so the way this planner goes is there's week on to, uh, a week on two pages, and then you have two blank pages in between. So this is how I used it in the very beginning. And I do really love it. It looks just as messy as when I was doing my social media tracking, but 
it's more of a memory keeper in here. And so this didn't bother me. I wanted to, I want to be able to, when I'm tracking my social media, be able to zoom right in on something. And I couldn't do that um, in this planner. It just looked way too messy for me. And then you can see I kind of like found my groove in this planner. And on the two pages in between, I started adding the photos. And just a quick little blurb about the photos. This was a busy week for us, as you can see. Luna did a little drawing for me. Obviously, this was not a good week for planning. I don't remember what happened here. Oh, that's right. My father passed away this week, which in and of itself was actually a blessing. My father had Alzheimer's, so um, he'd been in a nursing home for eight years. So um, it was actually a blessing that he passed away. Um, and then we're back on track for May. And then I do have to fill in some pictures and go back in on this week and fill that in. And I have over here like this huge stash of photos that I have to go back in to do this. But that's okay because I know everything that's in here. Um, my niece had a new baby. So that is in here. Luna had been in the hospital. And then this was last week. And then this is this week. I obviously have to go in and fill some things in in here. Um, and then this is next week. So it's obviously getting nice and full and chunky. And I really love that. I love that um, when I'm done with this, I'll be able to put it into her. She has a memory box upstairs in her bedroom. So I'll just stash this away in her memory box. And then I do have two more. So for at least the next couple of years, maybe that's what I'll use. Um, I think that I will. Because I think it'll be kind of nice to take them and put them on um, a shelf at some point so she can just pull one off and, and go back and look at them. So this I'm enjoying. I added this. This is a print pression um, hardbound in another Happy Scrappy cover. And I'm dabbling in bullet journaling and I have to tell, I have to say I am really enjoying it. Um, this is for my mom. I started it in June. So I'm going to give it to her for Christmas. My mom is 73 years old and has everything she needs. I mean, you know, we buy her things for Christmas every year, but she really just doesn't need anything. Anything she needs, she just buys herself. Anything she wants, she typically just buys herself. So I'm going to start doing some memory keeping for her. So I'm, I've tracked the weather. And then these are the pages that I've done for her. I just, just like in Luna's planner, I just jot down little memories and then I add photos. And I think it's been, I think it looks really great. I think she's gonna love this. And then I did my July calendar. And then this is my first week of July. These are all just happy planner stickers. This was su a super easy layout. I wasn't feeling, um, I've, I've had kind of like a little crafter's block lately. And so that's why I'm going to start these. So this is where this year has led me. Um, I'm loving these and this I think I'm gonna have a really hard time putting away, but I need to start getting my craft on again. I'm really, really missing being crafty. Um, so 
Let's start off with this one. So this is an A6 DM Leather Studio cover. I think at the time this cover cost me 20 or $25 and it came with this pen case and this band. Um, and as you can see on here, um, it has my Instagram and my um, YouTube handle. Um, so this is an A6 Stalogy, a full year Stalogy. What did I use this for in the beginning? Uh, just a little planner, it looks like. So in this little passport size folder, I have just some stickers for dates and such. These are from Planner Pixie Co. It is a printable on Etsy and I printed them on cl uh, clear matte sticker paper. So this stays in here so I'll be able to easily date my planner. I have some washi in here. This is a freebie from Her Name is Savvy. Um, she has a, like if you not subscribe to her, but if you go, you know how on Instagram now you can join like a, a group chat um, and you'll get like extra content. You'll get extra content. Um, she put this in her group the other day and I think it's adorable. This is a idea list for different lists that you can put in your planner. This is a freebie from Crystal Plans. I like it because lately I am so into making lists. So this is my bullet pencil from the Traveler's Company. So all this is is just a clip that holds together all of the pages um, that I've already used in this planner. I printed a July calendar and just stuck that in here. And I put some deco on it from Plan With Pizzazz. And then I set up my June. This is what I'm gonna use to track my social media for the month of June. And I think it looks super pretty. And then I have written down um, a PR group that I help plan with Pizzazz manage. So I will, I just put a check mark here for um, each time this group um, posts uh, a reel or a post on Instagram and a story because with this group in order to get their um, PR bonuses they need to post a reel or a post once a week and they need to do a story twice a week and tag playing with pizzazz so once everyone has three check marks that I don't um, have to worry about making sure that I track everything that they're doing. And then I did a little tracker down here for me, my currently reading. And then in these pages back here, I've been doing, LA Florals is doing um, some in instructions on doodles. So I have that in here. This is just my little pencil board. And then I've got all of these beautiful blank pages in the back and another pencil board. So going forward for a little while, I don't know how long it will last because for me, planner piece is using whatever I want. Um, so this will be tracking my social media. And then I set up a standard TN. And what I'm gonna do in this is this will be my weekly and daily planning. So this is a traveler's company, TN. And I just have some patches on here. And then I have a wax seal that I love. 
This little charm is from my friend Lauren at LA Floral. She just sent this to me. This is a Moterm wallet that I have on here. This handy dandy little notebook was $2. It is a Walmart pen and gear composition notebook. And all that I did was I used a metal ruler and an X-Acto knife and I cut it down. That's it. $2. And so this is how I've set it up. I put a bunch of AliExpress stickers on here. I have some sticky notes in the front. I have a freebie from Watch Becca Plan. It's a kid summer bucket list. Um, I actually wanted to cross out kids and just put some, have summer bucket list because there's some kid stuff um, that I have on here but there's also some things for my husband and I to do on here. And then um, this is just on with a piece of washi paper. This is taped into the very first page of this notebook. So this is just taped on with some washi tape to tip it in here. And then this is that same um, freebie from Crystal Plans. It is um, some list ideas. And then what I did back here was I'm gonna be starting some lists back here. This is YouTube ideas. I did post a story on Instagram about um, if anybody had some YouTube ideas, what they'd like to see from me on YouTube. And someone posted that, someone from the West Coast um, posted that they'd like to see a shopping trip um, in the rural East Coast. So that's, I am going to do that for a YouTube post. And then this is going to be a um, go-to meal ideas. Um, this will be some purchases that I've made and I need to keep track of if they're coming or not, when they're, when they're coming. Um, some project ideas. I saw an idea from Starseed Homestead on Instagram where she quilted on the back of sweatshirts. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use that inspiration for taking some of my old great grandmother's quilts and cutting them down and putting them on the back of sweatshirts for myself because I think that would be really cool for myself and my granddaughter. Uh, for my granddaughter, myself and my daughter. Um, I think she would really love that. And then this is gonna be a wish list of items that I want to buy. I will be adding to this list section, but all these tabs are is Avery tabs, and I just added stickers to the top of them. So the way I set this up for the month of July, because I'll be starting at July 1st, is I just hand drew in, um, I hand drew in a calendar in here. Super easy, what I did was I just used pencil to draw it out. Um, I did the math to figure out, you know, how I needed to, to make this. And then I just used a pencil to draw it out to make sure it was correct. And then I used a pen to go over it. I did some of Lauren's doodles here. I added stickers from those sticker sheets from Planner Pixie Co that I showed you in Luna's Planner. Um, so those are the days of the week up here and then the numbers are also from that um, printable and the July is from that printable. I used some dot markers to track some things for myself um, and then I just did this month up here and I added some important dates that are on um, for this month and then this will be my first week in July and then what I'll do over here is I will do dailies as I want to I might not want a daily every day so I did not set those up yet because I I don't want to um, waste a page of paper that I I might not be using as a daily so that's what I'm gonna do with this and I'm really, really loving this idea because it cost me $2 to set this up. So I'm just trying it out. I, I really want to um, 
use my imagination more. Um, you know, I don't go anywhere and do a lot of things. So it's like my planner isn't really a planner. It's more of just a memory keeper. And so I want to be able to be crafty and use my imagination. And I think this will be a great outlet for me. I'll be able to watercolor in here. Although I don't know how the paper is. I'll have to test it out. Um, I'll, I'll be able to do some doodles in here. Um, it's just, it's a, it's a nice, great space for me to just trial something and see how I like it. And you know, we all know I'm going to end up back in this. Um, I mean, I, I say I'm setting it aside, but it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay on my desk because I'm still going to be tracking all my book, my book stuff in here. Um, these inserts I made myself on Planify Pro and I just need to print some more and put some more in here um, because these inserts are working out really well for me. So you know I'll end up back in here. And yeah, I just, I, I want to be more, I don't know, I'm bored lately. I'm very, very bored lately. Um, my daycare babes just play so well together. It's summertime, so we're outside constantly. Um, and then they just play outside. Um, and so we're starting school in September. I have a whole curriculum um, that I'll be teaching the littles in September. So my life will get much, much busier in September and I won't have as much time to craft and play and, and all that. So I might as well do it while I can, right? Um, so in this book, I do have a Traveler's Company sticker book and I have a lot of stickers in here from Pet Tape that I really, really love. So I'll be using these and I'll probably add a bunch more stickers in here. Um, maybe like a bunch of girls from London Gifties, um, some outdoor scenes and such. And then I have this, um, I don't know who this is by. Motor, it might be Motarm. Um, these vinyl envelopes that I love. So I have that in here. So I think what I'll do is I will add some more stickers in here and just, I'm, I've been spending my days setting it up, like doing all the, the lists in the back and such, and I'm really enjoying it. Oh, but here's what I forgot to tell you about. So this right here, hang on, let me show you. So Lauren from LA Florals, I know I keep mentioning her name. She sent me some happy mail and she and her husband live in her great grandmother and great grandfather's house. And they, her, her great grandparents kept everything. And this is all ephemera from her great grandparents' house. And so she sent me all of this ephemera and what I did was I made a pencil board or a page marker out of it and I added so what I did was I just laid it all out the way I wanted it um, I tacked it together with um, some glue and then I just um, laminated it and what I'm doing with it currently is just putting it in to mark my July calendar so I did make that also. And then there's just sticky notes and tabs on the back. So I can just grab those. So I've been really enjoying spending my days um, playing in this planner and getting it set up because setting up a new planner is always super fun. So that's where I am mid-year. Feeling a little bit like, not lost, I guess lost isn't really the word. Um, just more like bored. Yeah, I'm bored. I'm bored with my planners and wanted to try something new. So that's where I am. 
So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a big old thumbs up. And in the description, I will add my link tree so you can come and check out my Instagram. Um, I'm very active on Instagram. I post a lot of stories during the day. So if you wanna see um, a more intimate look into all of my planners and how my days go, join me over there on Instagram. Thanks and have a wonderful Thursday.